Good day students, this will be your discussion video for Guide 2 and Self-Awareness subject. For this video, we will be discussing psychological growth and psychological death. So as we move forward in our daily lives, we regularly experience different mental states. We distinguish it to be a positive state when it involves happiness, joy, delight, peace of mind, excitement, and content. Most of these feelings incorporate what psychological growth is. As defined, psychological growth is the progressive development of one's mental state. Positive feelings predominate, encouraging oneself to learn about their unique personalities and seeking out optimal challenges. When experiencing psychological growth, a list of positive states can occur to the individual. Number one, self-awareness. Of course, being able to know one's strengths, weaknesses, beliefs, thoughts, and emotions. Number two, self-understanding. It is one's ability to understand what's happening to you and with your environment. Number three, self-acceptance. Being able to accept that there are things that you cannot change, you cannot achieve, and being able to accept that you're not perfect. You should be able to accept that you've made mistakes in the past and try to move on and learn from them. Number four, self-responsibility. Uh, you know what that whatever you do, there's no one to be blamed for it but only you. And number five, self-confidence. The feeling of security in oneself. The opposite of psychological growth is psychological death. When experiencing psychological death, an intense conflict being awakened. Some people choose the death path because it is easy and pleasurable. This does not necessarily uh, have to be dead physically but instead choose to die mentally. So there are some cases where in a person is tired and gives up being on the positive side. This can lead to depression, mental illnesses, and in worst cases, physical death. So to confront oneself takes a lot of risking and a very long process, which is experienced if the person decides to choose the growth path. So it's not easy to shift from being in a negative mindset towards a positive one. So some people needs guidance to the point that it requires professional help. So if you are someone that's currently experiencing negativity, then don't hesitate to reach out for help. Here is the list of negative states that can occur to an individual when experiencing psychological death. Number one, self-defensive. This person tends to use defense mechanisms when in a situation that is not favorable to him or her. So the person usually reasons out everything that's happening to his surroundings and hardly accepts the situation. Number two, self-deception. He will choose to perceive things the way his mind thinks about them. He does not accept the reality of what's happening within his environment, but instead insists on what his mind thinks. Number three, self-rejection. It is saying no to oneself. So the person doesn't accept his entire existence and at the same time keeping his self-distance uh, distant from other people by not allowing them to know his true self. No. Number four, self-responsibility. This person doesn't want to face obligations. So he doesn't care about what might happen or the things that he does since from the first place he doesn't accept the consequences of his actions and letting things happen without holding them responsible for it. And number five, self-insecurity. So this person is full of self-doubts. This individual tends to compare himself all the time to other people and believes that he is not capable of doing something great. 
I hope that everyone here will choose the path towards psychological growth since this provides a lot of positivity to yourself, not just mentally but physically as well. So as you can see on your screens, that's just how uh, a few of the positive impacts of how growing psychologically can help our lives. You can do this uh, simple activities to improve your mood and decrease anxiety. In this way, it can help you achieve psychological growth. So exercise, volunteer, make a new friend, take some rest, act of doing nothing, smile, even just a mere act of smiling, pray, worship, show gratitude, treat yourself, put away your phone and talk and share. You can also do other activities that are not mentioned in this list as long as you're comfortable doing it and at the same time increasing your happiness levels. That ends my discussion video of this particular topic. Kindly check other discussion videos here on this YouTube channel. I've also posted the specific links on our Google Classroom for you to be guided. So if you have questions or clarifications, kindly contact me through my University of Ball Facebook account. Thank you for your attention.